1500 shootout, the 5K shootout, took second in a World Series event. I love shootouts. Two players gone, came in a little late, blinded out down to 23.5 from 25,000 starting. Blinds are 200, 400, plenty of chips, two players out, 10 handed, eight left. Let's get it done. It is uh, 800 entrance in the 1500 shootout, so it did max out. I am here on time, roughly. We are now going to 300, 300, 500, 500 big blind. Andy, I got like 16K, so still 30 something blinds. Table's going relatively fast. We've lost numerous players. I believe we're six handed, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six handed. Gotta win your table to go on. I really haven't had much to play with so far, but we're sitting in it's an okay spot. I like, I think uh, only one other player I actually know, but everyone seems to be playing decent, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna update you guys after the break, but right now we have 20 minutes. Uh, they did cap at the 800 entrance, so there's basically, uh, let's see, eight, 80 tables. So if you win, there'll be 80 left, and then you play down to the final table, it'll be eight-handed final table. So you gotta win the first round, second round, next round. Again, I finished second in the 5K shootout, winning first round, winning second round, and then got second to Mark Radoja, East Jack the King 10, uh, in the 5K shootout back in a long time ago, a decade ago. Let's see if we can get it done in this shootout. I'll uh, update you guys and try to show you some hands at the table. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you were really light there. <laughs> Alright, so going on break, five left. I've got about like 32,000 start with 25, was down to 15K at the last break, so feeling good. Things have kind of slowed down. Uh, made top set of aces in a big, big pot. Uh, just called when I got check raised on the flop on a ace uh, high flop, top set. Um, what else? Nothing too exciting. I'll try to show you guys some of the hands here. You saw the nines, got the four bet, basically committing all in, got the fold, and other than that, nothing too crazy going on. So. Let's, uh, let's keep it going, see if we can get this done, get in the money, get through the day. Uh, it's only 3.30 right now, so plenty of time left, um, and we're down to five, so keep you updated. They don't want it. I'll just put it on the floor in a couple of Thanks, man. I'm lucky. Alright, three handed, all the chips, uh, half the chips in play. I'm sorry, three handed. Let's go. All right, we got the man over here. We got real camera action now. So we're in business. We're heads up. We got a chip deficit. But we're sitting all right. And uh, we have an hour dinner, dinner break. Danny's over here. We got camera on camera action, guys. Let's see if we can get this done. The double camera. We're feeling good. Talk about some hands. And let's uh, see if we can get this done. It's going to be 5,400 for a min cash or zero. We did have a last long, but we split it up. I got a little less because he had more chips, but plus about 1,000. In the last longer now, we're playing for 5,500 or zero cash to make the day two. 800 started, playing down to 80. If you win your table, 80 left. Uh, yeah, let's take our dinner break. All right, so here's the deal. We're heads up. This is an 800 person capped event because there were 80 tables of 10. We are in a good spot because you win and go on. It's a min cash of 5,400. I have got about exactly a two to one deficit, but it's plenty of chips. So I have 88,000, um, actually a little less than two to one. He's got, that means there's 250 in play. He's got one seven, one, 
what's that one the math 160 and I have 90 roughly so yeah I mean you know one double and I have a nice chip lead it's it's right in the taking uh, this guy knows how to play seems like he knows what he's doing let's see if we can finish one off here I mean it's literally first or nothing I did get the $500 last longer among six people we chopped it up he got a little more because he had more chips than me but I made a thousand profit on that so again we're kind of free rolling but it's all or nothing here we got to win let's see what happens when we come back see if we take this down and move on to round two which would mean 80 left then we would play win your table and you're at a final table so pretty cool format win 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 you got a bracelet we're heads up from 10 handed we'll see you after dinner break all right we're over a minute after starting my opponent is not back we're supposed to start dealing we're gonna wait you know listen we got our lucky two a lot of positive energy we need to blind out the guy win a couple of hands we're gonna do it the right way he was a nice guy as well i'm sure he would wait for me um i don't know why the funny thing is that we weren't even going to take any dinner breaks. So the fact that we had a full hour and he's not back, it's a bit strange. I don't know what he's doing, but uh, we're going to wait. Um, you know, I'm not going to wait two hours, but I'll wait for a while uh, for him. So hopefully all's good and uh, yeah, we win fair and square. Let's see what happens. So if you look around, we're on break. The room has cleared. It's a bunch of heads up. So ours went pretty quick, down to three, and then heads up. And now uh, we're in a battle. Right now I have like 83K. He's got, you know, it's sort of where it started at the last dinner break. I did take the chip lead. I think I had like 140, and he had 110 at one point. The key hand last level was I had 10 deuce off. I limped. He checked behind. It came queen, 10-4, um, with two clubs and a diamond. Check, check, turn two. Uh, bringing two flush draws. He let out. I raised big. He called. And the river paired the queen. So it counterfeits my two pair and the clubs got home. Um, he checked. I, I thought about maybe trying to turn my hand to the bluff, but I just think he has either missed diamonds, king jack, something like that. So I'm either good or he made the flush. I don't think I'm going to give him a fold of flush on a paired board or a queen. And it's asking a lot to make him fold a queen. So I, I reluctantly just check and he had 10 5 off. So like, on the river, he's in really bad shape, right? He, he's thinking I might have a draw. He hero calls me with, with middle pair. I have two pair. So he has to hit a five or counterfeit me with a queen. Um, yeah, that was a big swing, and you know, we're, we're battling. He's not giving anything away. There's a lot of limp pots. Blinds are going up to 2K, 4K. So I have 80, 20 bigs. He's got you know a little more than that. But uh, yeah, anything can happen. Literally one double, and I'm massive lead. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock in and get this done. This has been a, a grind, and um, yeah, he's playing well. Uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I feel good, feeling rested, and um, yeah, just uh, want to get this done.
76? Yep. What do you got? Sevens? No. I hope I I don't know man. Fuck, this is gonna be close. I got a, I got a big board coverage here. Yeah? I got the bottom two. Oh okay, so yeah, we're really this, I'm gonna stand up for this from last time I sat down. Oh my god, it just ends up the boat, right? You just turn the boat. So that was quite a battle. I uh, hope we caught a lot of the hands. I mean, I don't know what to tell you guys. We were literally, if you look around, we just finished and he goes a second to last. Heads up battle. I had him all in twice, shoved sixes when he was down to like 60K. He had ace 10, called, won the flip. Then in a spot where four, flop was three, four, five, I had five, six, he had three, four. He check raised, I, I called. I mean, I, my hand's obviously too good. I'm aware he could have a low straight or, um, you know, two pair there, but my hand, he could have just a, a pair open-ended worse like I'm actually kind of top of the range there lost that when he just turned a boat which was super brutal to like just not even have a sweat going to the river um I don't wait did I yeah so he turned uh turned a boat um yeah I don't even know I'm disappointed I got I can't lie I played these a lot shootouts like I said in the 5k 2011 I got I won my first round won my second got second ace jack the king 10 to Mark Radosha win a bracelet and uh I've, I've also won another round and take took second to go to the final table in the second round um, a lot of seconds. I mean, I, I get heads up, and it just sucks, you know, because you don't get so many of these opportunities, and so, you know, you don't remember it. I just, like, that's it. Like, it doesn't matter if I went out 10th or 2nd, but I will argue from the experience side, you know, for me, I'd rather go out 2nd, even though you could say, oh, you know, you lost a day, but I got to battle, I got to 
you know, get experience, uh, put myself in position. I thought I really, really played well, truthfully. You know, we don't see the whole cards, but a lot of bluffs, a lot of pots I picked up. I really felt like I figured it out and had him. And, you know, I was two to one deficit at dinner. I took a two to one plus lead. I had him on the ropes all in a few times. He got, after he doubled, I got back to the lead again um, and, and was putting pressure on. So I'm really happy with how I played, honestly, but that like knocked wind out of my sails. You know, it's like results oriented poker. No one's going to see that what happened other than, well, I guess we actually have a vlog so you will see there were some battles and, and we do have some of the hands but the point is on the record book on the hen and mob it doesn't show second doesn't show whatever but again I, i'm happy with how i played i that was a bummer that was a big swing for me mentally i think um oftentimes i rebound really well after stuff like this but i i, I definitely that one took the wind out of my sails i wanted to win um and kudos to him, good. He played well, well enough to win, and uh, you know, good luck. His name's Nick. I hope he does well. Um, but yeah, I'm bummed out for sure. Can't lie to you guys, and I'll be playing a 3K6 max. Uh, one of my closest friends, Tim Begley, is coming to town. He's going to play that as well. Uh, we'll regroup. We got the 10K6 max later this week. Got the 10K main event. Probably going to play the 25K PLO. We'll see how the field looks and what's going on. But uh, all in all, um, that was a battle, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope. Uh, yeah, we'll be back for more, and um, yeah, just disappointing. Nothing else to say. I'm just going to go home, uh, spend time with my wife and son, and, and we'll be back for the 3K6 Max tomorrow.